Your speaker is not working properly. Your voice can still be recorded, but the voice of other participants cannot. Continue recording. Okay. Meeting audio may not be fully recorded. It seems like it's something new because it just popped up and I trashed the last recording because I didn't really begin the study yet. So I was just curious. All right, so let's get going, folks. Hebrews, our second study in Hebrews. And 1, 8 to 2, 1. We didn't get it set. Let's go. But unto the Son he saith. And let's also put this in the New Living. The watered down, more corrupted version. They're all corrupted. The word, the truth is only stood in the spirit by comparing the original Greek with every single verse in the Bible. And that's how you get your proper context. Only the Holy Spirit can drive you to do such things. Only the Holy Spirit can give you the understanding to do such things. And again, even the desire to do so. But to the son, he say, your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. You rule with a, uh, it's not scepter. I want to say it's, oh, it's scepter. God, I'm so stupid. I'm 60. My brain gets, yeah, a scepter, the S or the C is silent. You rule with a scepter of justice. You love justice and hate evil. Therefore, O oh God. Your God has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy on you more and more on anyone else. He also says to the son, in the beginning, and you could tell this is not written by Paul. Paul really never did any type of writing like this. In the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundation of the earth and made the heavens with your hands. They will perish, but you remain forever. They will wear out like old clothing. You will fold them up like a cloth and discard them like old clothing but you are always the same. You will be forever. And God never said to any of the angels, sit in the place of the honor of my right hand till I humble your enemies, making them a footstool under your feet. Therefore, the angels are the only servant spirit sent to care for the people who will inherit salvation, a warning against drifting away. First verse of next chapter. So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. And of course, that's the parable of it. You will not drift away if you are a sheep. It is kind of like a uh, that warning to sheep that you're only in hope. You're never sure of your salvation. So to keep you accountable, let's read it again in the King James. But unto the son, he say, if thy throne, O God, is forever and ever, a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows, and thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and in the heavens are the work of thine hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they shall wax old, doth a garment, and as a vesture shall fold them, and shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. But to which the angels said, said he at the time, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool. And they are not, excuse me, are they not? ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation in other words the humans who will get their glorified bodies and eternity those that he knew from before the foundation of the world so this is just a process of taking those that he knew having them remember goats are born goats sheep are born sheep but sheep are born lost Jesus said only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel in Matthew 15, 24. So as sheep are born sheep and goats are born goats, but sheep are born lost. When they are born lost, this whole word of God, this whole earth, this whole process is to try them um, to bring them through the process from being lost sheep to found sheep and getting back or getting their glorified bodies, which they had or did not have. When God knew them before the foundation of the world and um, so on and so forth. So it's such a simple concept when the Holy Spirit really gives you the ability to just absorb the entire word of God as a whole 
I mean, Isaiah 46, 10, declaring the end from the beginning. So declaring revelation from Genesis, it says, for, uh, declaring the end from the beginning from ancient times are the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel will stand, I will do my pleasure. His pleasure is, is those that he knew before the foundation of the world is to bring them into the world lost and to make them found by giving them the call and beating the world out of them, the world that he created, the world that he knew would become corrupted and evil. He planned it all out. And then it's a process from A to Z to bring them through uh, and to try them and to refine them, to bring them through properly. And um, give them eternal life. So, I mean, that's it. That's what the whole Bible's for. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it's crazy to us, I should say, because we're mere um, sheep in hope of going through this process. We only know this world in our conscious state, but subconsciously in our gut as the Holy Spirit keeps pulling us through and um, refining us as gold is refined, trying us um to bring forth that image of his son like it says in romans 8 29 and 30 for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son so it's that entire process and of course the illuminati world uses the word process nick saban's big at using the word process because to them their process of eternal life trust the process is the nick saban bill Belichick slogans and of course, that is their underworld from Trump all the way down. And it's telling them, don't pay attention to what's going on in the world. Just keep your nose to the grindstone. Uh, stay true to your oath. Stay true to uh, your fellow brother or sister. Uh, and trust the process that we are going to bring forth eternal life. Reset the earth, bring forth eternal life to all of us elect of lucifer so it's a it's a it's a complete and that was part of our as above so below study that i did on my other channel and i'll probably include this in my other channel also because it's kind of some new concepts and um all right, let's re continue on with our third letter. Again, these letters are parables. The, this is not, it is written as if there's free will and there's this, this choice and you better do this or this will happen, which is the whole Bible is written like that. Uh, so you don't take what's in these letters as pure doctrine because there's other pure doctrine that overrides these seemingly uh, or seemful choices, things you must do. Because as a human, there's nothing you can do to bring yourself through to salvation. Not even with the help of the Holy Spirit can you bring yourself through. The Holy Spirit does every single bit of it in you and through you. None of it is by your own works, lest you boast of it. To the angel of the church of Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And of course, this is talking about um, in that area. I've done it before in my other studies where I show you... Um, Map of the seven churches of Revelation. Yep. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off, lady. Uh, this one looks pretty decent. This is the one I think I've used before. Pergamos was said, or Pergamum was said to be where Satan's seat is. I'm not sure if something was there and was then moved to Germany. It seemed like I tried to look that up last time also. But um, And thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith, even in those days 
wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. So it really makes you wonder if the Trump bloodline wasn't also there at one time, or I should say the Antichrist bloodline. <laughs> but I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them. that, And of course, if these are sheep, God brings you through this process of correction. But he's telling a story in a parabolistic sense. Even though these were actual letters written to seven churches, I believe that. But again, it's just also to be looked upon in the spirit as the church divided into seven in a parabolistic state. But I have a few things you can see because them hold truth. Uh, uh, those that hold the doctrine of Balaam who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things, sacrifice unto items, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent or else I will become unto thee quickly. And we'll fight against them with a sword of my mouth. There's the sword of my mouth. Remember when I was looking at that on a Bible study not so long ago? Sword of my mouth. That is also how he reclaims the earth. He did have an ear. So it's a, it's a uh, parallel to when he comes and reclaims the earth. He did have an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the hidden manna. And will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that received it. It's really something to look forward to, is it not? Love you all very much. Ask questions anytime.